have the pet passport and you can track your animal. Mm -hmm. So it's already in the animal right here. It's yep. just waiting now. The canisters are already in the Ghana military, yep. in, the, in the medical facility. Yep. Just waiting for the right uh, uh, word for issue it in the hospital. So yeah, be, be, because you mean add to that what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, Apostle Tai also said this is that um, these military men they're gonna be the first to take this RFID chip. Yeah. Why? Because you are no longer belonging to yourself. You are the government property. Yeah. The government departs you and tell you where to go, what to take, how to eat, because they feed you. Yeah. When you go to the mess hall, you don't have a choice to say what you want to eat. I'm a vegetarian. I don't want meat. Then you're gonna have to eat some white rice by yourself, bro. <laughs> you see, if you are a diabetic, you gotta eat what they cook for you or go outside and buy what you. These people don't care for you, bro. You wanna say something now? Huh? Yes, because in the military you sell your soul, right? Yeah, can. And two, why you feel the manganese company was in Guyana working the little from the uranium, the, no, the black. Kind of they call it manganese or something. Mm -hmm. When you ask them what they're doing with it, they say they're going to make a chip. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. So they they tie back into yeah. knowing. Look, look how long because it's like it's about like ten years. I know I walked in, in the interior. Yeah, yeah. and really and truly, they just get a whole lot of stuff from Africa, yeah. right? Because a lot of that is in this phone battery. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Which also is a poison to the human body. Yeah. You see. Is a is a is a kryptonite now, boy. And you see? if you could add, uh, right now in Northwest, they got a manganese company they're building right now. Yeah. Got yeah. to find manganese in Northwest. Yeah. See? So they're building um, China Harbor building a factory there right now as we speak to start yeah. extracting. Hey, and and looking for that, a lot of bloodshed was was um shed for for these things. Yeah. That's why they just they tell you um when you get your your old phone, you could um you could trade it in. Why would you trade in a phone when you're working? They want back the battery, the things in that inside of the in, in it. Yeah. Because what? Anyway, we're now on that right now because that is like an old another list. Yeah. Go ahead, continue for me. Yeah, it says the new uh, yeah, the new system is still in its testing phase, mm -hmm. but in a month's time the DHBC hopes to implement the same, beginning with its eight charge companies. Alright, the entire project is being funded through the corporation's total revenue with, with the phase one costing some $5.5 million while phase two will include gradual wide scale installation. Hmm. What? All right. So this is the future. Explaining this is what? The future. This is the future. Indeed, this is the future. Right? And we, we, we've been telling these people that the RFID chip is the future. Which would ocean um, race war and all of these things? Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Explaining the challenges of the present system, the officials stated that the ticketing software had numerous categories of, of selection to meet one end goal and was prone to freezing, which would oftentimes prevent the company from receiving a tally of the revenue collected for the day. Oh, yep, yep. The system created in 2008. So in other words, they're saying that the system that they have right now is not good. Yeah. Go ahead. It says the system created in 2008 also contributes to long delays when the toll booth operators have to manually write up tickets for companies utilizing the bridge by charge bills. Mm -hmm. This this would slow up traffic during peak periods, and once one of these computers being being beings to hang, Slakia begins to hang, mm -hmm. the old system will hang and you will have to manually write the ticket information until you get the system working. Right? So they, explain. They're telling you that listen, we could eliminate this traffic. And you know people don't like to wait. So they're gonna accept this chip, this RFID chip thing quick. They're gonna want the tag. They're gonna take it. Because a lot of people already invest over the river. You understand? Go ahead. It says, on the other hand, the new software presents fewer options, has an online means of making payments, reduce the like likeliness of errors, and the amount of cash stored at the boots. Yeah, so they don't want cash stored at the, the boot anymore. Right? 
So they want actually they want to do away with that cash thing. That's right, Pastor. Go ahead. It says how it works. How it works is through the scanning of the RFID tag by a sleek machine which has been placed above the tour booth. And you know what this go back to? This also go back to the the electric the, the e passport. Right. The electronic passport, right. because the electric uh, uh, the electronic passport now you don't have to stop and do all of these craziness. You just poop and you go straight through. Right. You understand? And if they have an error, they would stop you at gate wherever, wherever. But it's a process. You just it's just a moving process. Right. Just a move. It's like robots. You just program them and they just going about their business. You understand? And if you, you find an error with them, hmm, you shut them down one time. This all of this come. My yeah, well, on the car come single marketing, right? Yep, back in the, the car being one along with the world, we will push this agenda. That's right, yeah, that's right. right, that's right, that's right. That's why in the other day they had summit, huh. the other day, right? The time the carry come, they had this carry come thing. Huh. Yeah, go ahead, All right? One of the RFIDs uh, being used for testing seen by the newspaper was placed on the top right hand corner mm -hmm. of a DHBC vehicle. See, so they test it already. Go ahead. Taking up very little space. When the vehicle comes up, the RFID recognizes that the vehicle and then it automatically sends this to the system to print this vehicle's number. That's once, that's once the vehicle has money inside the account. See? So now every chip that you have, when I say the vehicle, it's actually talking about the driver, you know. Because they don't really care about the vehicle. But they're putting it over subtle to you that is the vehicle. How the vehicle will get money? <laughs> it's you who have to put money there. That's right. So it's you who have to get a chip. That's right. It's you the person to accept it. Go ahead, you get it. Right. Says um, once the vehicle have has money inside the account. The vehicle does not have money, like it. If the vehicle does not have money inside the account, it's going to show up on the computer that the vehicle does not have any balance, and we can cash it directly. How to explain? Yeah, but we'll cash it what? In the other words, you're saying you know what? We're gonna accept um, the FEMA money. Fuck out of here! You don't have a system for that. What are you gonna do with FEMA money? The FEMA money gonna have no value. So what are you going to do with it? They're just bullshitting the nation here. Go ahead. It says, the first installation of the RFID tag on vehicles will be free of cost. But if this is damaged... <laughs> we mentioned the oil here. It's free of cost. You see? It is given to what? Read the precept back for me. Revelation. Revelation 13. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. And it causes all... Both small and great, rich and poor. Rich and poor. A poor man can't afford this RFID chip. So it's gonna be free. So hey, come don't you don't have to get money? Come, you can get this chip. Continue you for me. Eh? Thing with Jakes, they don't like hear the word, you know. Free, eh? <laughs> yeah, these motherfuckers say, you know what? This free beer tastes better than if I be buying. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. You really? You know, they just like because it's free, yeah? The word free, yeah? Shit. Alright, it says mm. the first installation of the RFID tag on vehicles will be free of cost. Mm -hmm. But if this but if this is damaged, the vehicle owner or driver will have to bear the replacement cost. Good. So this tag is going to be able to damage. So now, we have a better one. We had the RFID chip now to go into your, 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 your body. Yeah. So this one wouldn't damage. This one wouldn't damage, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> you see? So, so you could take this here yeah. and it would never damage. Yeah. And it's more secure so nobody can come and take it off your vehicle yeah. and use it. Yeah. You get it? If I might add, so this actually, the license plate is going to start being biometric, right? Where they can mm. carry the serial numbers and it, where they can flash through the camera. Mm. And also they will give you a biometric card to pay with digital currency. So mm. once you can't use the card no more, automatically you got put in skin. I see. Right? The card lost it, lost it. Right? Yeah, somebody stealing your card. Right. So, uh, for example, you got on um, this Star Computers mm -hmm. spearheading it too. Right? Yeah. You have a lot of uh, companies pushing for uh, the RFID technology, which will cause Ghana to become a cyber city. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. You got the police force doing cyber crimes if you go to the see one you can see the big sign board. Cyber crime. So they already tracking along. Yeah. Even the um the escapees that they had in 2018, mm -hmm. oh they know the locate, they know who left Ghana and who didn't left Ghana. It's because they put the microchip in them and they lose them and track them and, 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 and quarantine them back to see how it was working. Trinidad was doing that too. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and that that's what it say too, because yeah. we back the precept the revelation. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. And it causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born. They that are in prison, they're gonna give them this RFID chip. Yeah. So you're not safe no way. The only place you're safe is in this truth. That's right. right. That's right. You understand? As long as you're going after the government and you about this system, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Nice. Wait, uh, give me some more here. Right. <clears throat> uh, when it comes to the electronic payment, the DHBC is still deciding on the means through which drivers will pay for the tickets. With mobile money, Guyana being only Slovakia. Mobile being, money, Guyana. Yeah. All right, with mobile money Guyana being only one of several options available. Mm -hmm. The application was created by local IT company Smartware Solutions mm -hmm. as a means of empowering local businesses and encouraging more local companies. Boom! See? We finish it. It says to excel in information and communication technology. Good. So now all of the, the business is saying that they're gonna be easier. Yeah. You see, and this is this is what these people want. These people want to do things easy, like like the school school is opening. Oh, tomorrow school opening, right? Yeah. They had a whole rush with a long line and pain. You see, when you get this RFID chip now, it's just go boop, boop, boop and you just keep moving. Yeah. So in other words, stores wouldn't be full. Yeah. You see, even before they're gonna be where they're looking, and then automatically, if you get this chip, because I was reading an article on Facebook, and once you get this chip, right, now you could purchase things from your home, yeah. and it's gonna be delivered now to your house. Yeah, sure. This is why in America, a lot of stores being closed down because what? Amazon and these other, these yeah. online stores being, being, being tapping the market, yeah. right? Because this thing is about online thing. It's, it's, it's funny. Oh, you could just, you know what? I wear in size eight. I want the UK eight. No, I don't want the USA or I want, you know, you, you choose whatever size. And when it come, it fit you. Boom, boom, boom. So now you have the comfort of shopping in your home, on your computer, getting fat, getting a motherfucking big belly. So you fucked up all over, all around. So this is what people want. And this is what come in here. And these people are gonna, gonna take it. Like last week we was talking about when you go to Massey and certain store, because Massey come down here. Massey is a multi-million dollar business, right? That they, they, con they, 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 um, they control cars, they, they bring in these things, and they bring in brand new cars for you. Courts. Now, they set up system now, and they show you what card they accept. Now, if you have a card, like you get a Massey card, you get a discount. In other words, if you get this RFID chip, you're going to get a discount. Uh -huh. Niggas like this gun. Don't believe me, look at Black Friday. You see? These niggas rush into these stores. So this chip, this this chip is going to be, it's gonna be an easy thing here, bro. The RFID chip is already in Guyana. Give me some more. It says Crow the said the team is working on creating an added option for individuals to check their balance online for an automatic email emails to be sent to vehicle owners when their balance reached low a low level good you see say to the vehicle owners it's them is who get the chip them is who get the tag because it's going to be registered on the on the day name right again this tag is going to get what vehicle you own um how you tra how much time you travel so this man is keeping tab on you bro and a lot of people gonna take this chip in your hand up. A lot of fucking people. When you when when see like when people come to, from um from from let's say Trinidad, when people come from Esequibo to to Georgetown, you know what they say? Hey, I'm sick over there, bro. I needed a change. 
So they're going to take the tip. That's right. And the same thing when people leave it is like, hey, you know what? I'm fed up with this stuff. I want to go some, you know, anywhere nice over the river? You see? Come on, man. You want to say something now? To most of the vehicles that Diana are imported right now is on the digital tracking system. Right? And that is true. Yeah. That is true because um, they have a tracking number. Yeah. Right? Every engine or chassis have a, a tracking number. Right. So the, all of that now is going to pin to your name. Yeah. You see? So they're going to know where your vehicle is, where every. Yeah. Hey, it's going to get crazy down here. Yeah. Things are getting real. See all these niggas we're comfortable? Just wait. Give me some more article. Right? Right, it says the site. You finish up? Yeah. Um, Slack you Can I just say something real quick? Mm -hmm. This um, RFID tri trip, right, is um, military grade, meaning that it was initially created for, well, you know, ESA. Mm -hmm. Initially created for um, communications whereby you could pinpoint different military weapons. So what they doing? What they doing? What they're doing is creating a grid. Creating a grid, right? Mm. A grid whereby they create a network and see which vehicle move in, which vehicle park, and keep a count. So you're trying to be like the Mosai, basically. This is mm -hmm. But it's it's not just well. We 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 know it's not just for the money and stuff like that. It's mainly for tracking, exchange of communication. So if you ain't got your phone on you, you don't know where you carry it. If you forget your, your phone home or whatever, until you put it in your hand. Yeah, because if I may add, when you look at the movie, um, Angel of Fallen or the Angel of Fallen. Yeah, without, with, with the president. Freeman yeah, and yeah, yeah good. When they, was escort, when they was escorting the guy, I can't remember the name, you know, but you all look up the movie. There was an escort vehicle to the front and to the back. You know they shut down all the vehicles on the road? All. Yeah. Power outage completely knocked out. An uh, EMPR? Yeah, they got it. It could be, a, I don't know it's what, but they just shut it down because what? If you notice, President Granger, wherever is his name, it don't matter to me. Mm. He said that um, they only want a certain year vehicle in the country. Right. Damn. So now, the, the vehicle that they're building now in Guyana, it's computerized vehicle. Yeah. So if it is computerized vehicle, what is it gonna be with the RFID chip? So it would be easy now when your vehicle come in and you have to go and register it at GRA, Guyana Revenue Authority. Authority, they now could they could shut down your vehicle because they have the code. It's like these phones, all these phones have a code. Yeah. You understand? They have a track, and though you take off the phone, they could still track your phone. Yeah. So it's the same thing with vehicle. You want to say something? Yeah. Um, to add, right? And that's, that's beautiful information, yeah. huh? Because the weapon is going to also be working with this RFID chip. Yeah. Yeah. If I might add also, um, the, the system is already in Guyana to shut down vehicles. Mm -hmm. Because you got certain from, um, security form like MMC. Mm -hmm. You got um, this, um, this other man brand security. And Security. Yes, the security. They already have the system that they will track vehicles. Mm -hmm. Right? These auto dealers too. Mm -hmm. They can set it up too if you want it in, in the system. Let's say, for example, you go out to certain range, they could shut down the vehicle right there. Okay. Right? And they can't move or go away. And that's the new model vehicles that they're bringing in. Yeah, and they, they have a they have a system like that right now too. Right. You know? Yeah. Continue there. Right. It says the site for the system will also show drivers or companies the trip history of their vehicles See, th that's why they're gonna take this thing yeah. easy bro because they're gonna want the security for the the the, the, the stuff yeah. you understand and now if when they set up this thing in their vehicle if you don't have this chip you cannot get a job yeah. right. continue all right it says meanwhile the cooperation opts to tie the same system with ocean ocean going vessels boom traveling between the bridges right so these vessels that we coming through with when when they said they close the bridge i mean they're opening it for um for for these ship these ship to pass through if they don't have it too so you can't say you're gonna be on the sea and you, you you're good 
Because you got to get the RFID chip too. Mm-hmm. You are we going to know who is you? We you think they care about the boat, they don't care about the boat. It's the captain and, and where you're carrying on That's this right. boat. Go ahead. Yeah, that, was up to the that was it? Yeah, that's some good information. Yeah. Go down if you want to ask. Uh, yeah, it says, because this, this is the point, um, you know, which brothers touch on. It says, beneficial to all. Yeah, we're supposed to do that. It says, telling. Yeah, yeah. 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 Telling of what spurred the idea some two years ago for the system, Crowder said. More than one time, we had the issue where if we lost connection with the server, the whole system would shut down. Sometimes, if there are power outages, the whole system shuts down and you have to write tickets for like an hour or two, which contributes to traffic, to traffic snar- snarling, mm-hmm. right? Richard Richardson added that there were many errors in these cases as store boat operators working under pressure would document incorrect information. Yep. For us in the adult department, um, so like, let me let me jump to some good information, right? Yeah. It says now the DHBC is also collaborating with the Guyana Revenue Authority, GRA, hmm. whereby the information captured can be compared with the authority's database to capture illegal vehicle activities, okay. which would also be shared with the police. And this will map to the, inter- the global security, as I mentioned that, earlier. That's true. Right? That's true. Yeah. You understand? So now, what they're doing now, they're all coming together now with GRE. Yeah. Right? Because keep in mind, even to a beer, a, not beer, but a bottle of rum yeah. that, that is imported into this country, mm-hmm. it has to get GRE stamp. Yeah. If it didn't get GRE stamp, I remember this, this woman she had a whole lot of stocks, but it's old stocks, and it didn't have the GRE sign on it. Well, the tag, and they run into her place and close the, close the business down. You understand? Because some had the GRE stamp and some didn't, and she couldn't give her account. So now GRE have the account, the um, the authority to 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 shut you down. So in other words, no small man can do no business and say, you know what, I ain't get it cheap. They're gonna take they're gonna seize your stuff. And this was what this was happening back in, in, in the Asian days. Right? Under Rome uh, Rome and these other um people that we was under. You understand? These, these um empires. You understand? If you if you didn't pay your tax up to date and all of these things, they shut you down. Even imprisonment. Yeah, more? yeah it says. The Guyana Revenue Authority would already have information about every li- licensed vehicle. Now, if the vehicle passes through the system and the information shown is is a different information from what actually uh, from what actually was registered to the Guyana Revenue Authority, mm-hmm. the, re- the relevant authority will be flagged. So, if by any chance you know you're not supposed to have two vehicles carrying the same registration number. If that occurs, it will not it it will not affect the normal operations of the cashier, but whosoever is supposed to receive that information will receive it, which is being said. Yeah, which, which that that talking about what like um, right. if we say like you, at, uh, if we say you have a taxi, right? Mm-hmm. I'm the I'm the owner for the car. My well, I could be the driver. I could be the only driver, but in the on the insurance company. I could put a next driver, two other drivers. You could only put three drivers. So only these three drivers is allowed to drive this vehicle. If any other person drive this vehicle, it's a charge because the name is not on the insurance. So it's the same thing going on with GRA. You understand? You're going you're gonna to be tapped to a vehicle. You see, again, you can't drive the vehicle without a, 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 a driver's license. Neither, you cannot drive the vehicle if it is not registered. Now they're asking you as an individual to register because you get the RFID chip. Right? Anybody have anything to say? Read back for me on Revelation chapter 13 without the old piece of it for me. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. Mm-hmm. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark their right hand or in their foreheads which is the mark of the beast the, the, the RFID chip right that's it 
and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Right, and this is what they're pushing right now, this RFID chip. You cannot do no business, you can't eat, you can't sell, you can't do nothing without this RFID chip. Go ahead. That's it? Save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right? Yeah. So without this RFID chip, you, you can't do no business. And that is the system that is in Guyana right now. Right? The, 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 it's, it's law that already passed, you know, on the cashless system. So it's okay. These people already agree to, to microchip the nation. Right? But through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, we pray and ask Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, that we be the men of the hopeful elect, or at least of the one third, which will not take the RFID chip. You know? Anyway, with that, we hope this lesson was edifying. We want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rokakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, all you brothers in the four corners of the earth that are pushing this truth in sincerity and truth. Stay strong. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.